Word problems involving linear equations in one variable. Number 1. 5 times the sum of 3 consecutive even integers is 210. Find the 3 integers. Again, 5 times the sum of 3 consecutive even integers is 210. Find the 3 integers. Solution. Let i equals the first even integer. i plus 2 equals second consecutive even integer. i plus 4 equals third consecutive even integer. The equation is 5 times the quantity i plus i plus 2 plus i plus 4 is equal to 210. Simplify. 5 times the quantity 3i plus 6 equals 210. Distribute. 15i plus 30 is equal to 210. Subtract 30 on both sides of the equation. Simplify. 15i is equal to 180. Divide both sides by 15 i is equal to 12. Substitute 12 for i. i plus 2 is equal to 14. i plus 4 is equal to 16. Therefore, the three consecutive even integers are 12, 14, and 16. Number 2. Three numbers are in the ratio 4 is to 5 is to 6, and their sum is 165. What are the numbers? Again, three numbers are in the ratio 4 is to 5 is to 6, and their sum is 165. What are the numbers? Solution. Let 4x equals first number. 5x equals second number. 6x equals third number. The equation is 4x plus 5x plus 6x is equal to 165. Combine similar terms. 15x is equal to 165. Divide both sides by 15, simplify, x equals 11. Substitute 11 for x, 4x equals 4 times 11, which is equal to 44, 5x equals 5 times 11, which is equal to 55, 6x equals 6 times 11, is equal to 66. Therefore, the numbers are 44, 55, and 66. Let's check. Substitute 11 for x in the original equation. 4x plus 5x plus 6x equals 165. Is 4 times 11 plus 5 times 11 plus 6 times 11 equals 165? Is 44 plus 55 plus 66 equal to 165? 165 is equal to 165. Check. Number 3. John and Kent are brothers. The sum of their ages is 43. Five years ago, Kent. Age is John's age now. How old is John and Kent now? Again, John and Kent are brothers. The sum of their ages is 43. Five years ago, Kent's age is John's age now. How old is John and Kent now? Solution. 
let j equals John's age. 43 minus j equals Kent's age. Five years ago, John's age was j minus 5 and Kent's age was 43 minus j minus 5 which is equal to 38 minus j. The equation is j equals 38 minus j. Add j on both sides. Simplify 2j is equal to 38. Divide both sides by 2 j is equal to 19. Substitute 19 for j to find Kent's age. 43 minus 19 is equal to 24. Therefore, John is 19 years old and Kent is 24 years old. Number 4. Michael has 25 cent and 5 peso coins, amounting 53.75 pesos. If the number of 5 peso coins is 7 more than one-fifth of the number of 25 cent coins, how many coins are there in all? Again, Michael has 25 cent and 5 peso coins, amounting 53.75 pesos. If the number of 5 peso coins is 7 more than one-fifth of the number of 25 cent coins, how many coins are there in all? Solution let x equals the number of 25 cent coins. x over 5 plus 7 equals the number of 5 peso coins. x plus x over 5 plus 7 equals the total number of coins. The value of the 25 cent coin is 0.25. And the 5 peso coin is 5. The number of pieces of the 25 cent coin is x. And the 5 peso coin is x over 5 plus 7. The total amount of the 25 cent coin is 0.25x. And the 5 peso coin is 5 times the quantity x over 5 plus 7 multiply 5 5 times x over 5 is x plus 5 times 7 is equal to 35 based from the given our equation is 0 0.25 x plus x plus 35 is equal to 53.75 Combine similar terms, 0.25x plus 1x equals 1.25x. Subtract 35 from both sides. 1.25x is equal to 18.75. Divide both sides by 1.25 x equals 15. Substitute 15 for x. 15 over 5 plus 7 equals 3 plus 7, which is equal to 10. 15 plus 10 is equal to 25. Therefore, the total number of coins is 
Thanks for watching.